Hello, my name is Dan Oaks. I'm the creator of Cookin. And boy, have we added some cool new features to the Cookin mobile apps that I'm going to show you right now. A few days ago, I sent an email in which I suggested this idea that you consider crowdsourcing your recipes, right, in order to find the best possible ones. And I mentioned in this email that in the last 30 days, over 10,000 Cookin fans looked at hundreds of thousands of recipes and captured more than 48,000. Oh, <laughs> sweet! Now when I see that, I wonder to myself, what? I wonder what the top 10 most captured recipes of the month are. Well, let's take a look. Looks like the number one most captured recipe of the month by the cooking crowd is this cashew chicken with ginger recipe. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks like it's a recipe by Taste of Home, which makes sense. Their recipes are really good. And this looks yummy, and I'm looking for something good to make for dinner tonight. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just trust the cooking crowd. And I'm going to save this recipe to my cooking app. Now to do that, I tap on the three dots on the top right corner here, and then I tap on this sharing icon. That's the one with the box with the arrow going up. So I can share this recipe, and you now I choose to share it with Cooking. Open web page in Cooking, yes. And when I do that, the Cooking app is launched, and this web page is loaded in Cooking. So cool. And now to capture this recipe, right? I just tap capture in the top right corner here. And the cooking elves go to work and do their magic. Recipe captured successfully. Sweet. Save this recipe to Dan's recipes and the recipes found on the internet chapter. Super. Let's do it. Okay, now here's something cool that we added. When I tap on my recipes, we added smart folders and categories to the cookbook library view. So they're easily accessible. Now to find this recipe that I just captured, I could drill down into the Dan's recipes cookbook and then scroll through the chapters and so forth but another way to do it is to simply tap where it says smart folders here and then tap recently added recipes because I just added this so it should appear here and there it is cashew chicken with ginger nice here's the thing though this recipe serves six and as it turns out there's only four of us home for dinner tonight so what I'm gonna do is tap here where it says serves six I'm gonna change that to four Tap OK and cooking will automatically scale this recipe for me. That's a cool new feature. Sweet. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this sharing icon in the top right corner here, the box with the arrow. And I'm going to share this and post this to Facebook. Where's my Facebook? Now I could tweet this recipe. I could post it to Google+. Plus. I could even pin it on Pinterest. But right now I'm going to post it to Facebook so all my homies can see it. Say something about this. Okay, let's see. Uh, making this for dinner tonight. Wish me luck. <laughs> That's going to be fun. I bet I get a lot of responses from that. Maybe someone will have a tip for me. Maybe they'll ask me how it turned out. So now I just tap post. And the recipe is posted to Facebook. It's so cool how cooking is integrated with all the social media platforms. Now, as it turns out, some time has elapsed since I posted this, and some of my friends and family have responded. Let's take a look at what they said. Let's see here. I got a number of likes, and I got some comments. My niece, Kirsty says, good luck. And my buddy Al says, I'm coming over. John says, man, that looks great. And my brother Brian says, hey, let me know if you need any safety taste testers. I'll take one for the team. He's willing to come out and sample it if he needs to. <laughs> man, it's so fun when you add the social aspect to cooking, isn't it? Well, I hope you love the new features. Don't forget to post your recipes to Facebook. Give it a try. It's super fun. Let people know what you're making for dinner. They're going to be like, dude, you got the best recipes. And that's because you're crowdsourcing them. Have fun.